Hi guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Tailwind account to make it really easy for you to just schedule your pins months in advance if you want to or weeks in advance if you'd prefer that but just so that you can keep your Pinterest ticking over, building momentum, building its views over time and also its traffic to wherever you're sending it to whether it's your Etsy shop or your Amazon shop or your blog or a website like a Shopify website just a way for you to set it up so that it's super automated and super ready for you to just fill it out and leave it to run. So we're back on my Pinterest account and I've been working on this Pinterest account for about a year now, just over a year, building it up and I have used Tailwind as my scheduler to make sure that I keep pins consistently flowing, I keep it active and I'm able to integrate pins that I've created myself with also pins that I've found that I think go beautifully with my aesthetic of my Pinterest account but also my businesses as well that I'm promoting. So so I basically use Tailwind as a way just to keep it ticking over, keep my pins being released and I'm just going to show you now how I set up my Tailwind to do exactly that. So in order to do this, because my, obviously my Tailwind for this has been set up for quite some time and also my Tailwind for my blog has been set up, I wanted to kind of show you from scratch what you'll need to do when you first start. So I basically started a new free trial, which is how I started out with my Pinterest account and started out with my Tailwind. I started with the free trial. I got used to it because you get a certain amount of pins to kind of get used to it. I had a play, I worked out what worked for me and then I basically decided I wanted to keep that going so I decided to do the premium and I have been using it for a year now and I wouldn't even be without it. There's just no way I couldn't bring the traffic that I want to my businesses without Pinterest and Tailwind. So for the sake of this, I've kind of created a little kind of malnourished I suppose you'd say Pinterest account that I've had for a fair while but it was just a personal one and one that I really wasn't interested in doing anything with but I'm just kind of using this Pinterest account to kind of give you an indication of what you need to do. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is the bare basics of how to set up your Pinterest. So when you've created a Pinterest account, the first thing that you really need to do, so I'll switch back over to my one that I've been working on for a while, is create boards. So obviously you need to give your Pinterest account a title and for me I found that using really strong keywords for the products that I'm selling in my businesses and the people that I want to drive to my Pinterest account and therefore my businesses I've kind of found keywords that I just searched for on Pinterest and I've kind of tried to make it interesting and give the impression of you know exactly what you're getting so visit my gorgeous girl power inspired art print shop the name of the art print shop again you can add a link as well in your on your Pinterest account to your shop or, or your blog wherever it is you're trying to go giving some keywords as well just to indicate exactly what this Pinterest account's about and then I started creating boards and it really is a case of looking through Pinterest using search and finding things that people are really interested in around your business so for example I always like to put but obviously I have my Etsy shop so I created a no I'm perfect shop board which is just purely dedicated to the pins that I create for my business and for the products that I have in my business but then I also added ones about bedroom glamour, your dressing room, dressing table glamour, kitchen glamour, fun DIY, everything around home decor, girliness and everything that kind of could entice somebody to my Pinterest account and my shop and the way that I did this really is I just typed in for example art prints was just one of the things that obviously I sell and print Pinterest is really good at giving you a list of kind of different things so art print quotes modern art prints vintage art prints and I just slowly worked my way through finding popular keywords that people are searching for and adding them to my boards to create specific boards around it. Pink glamour, gorgeous mugs, that kind of thing. 
Um, I'm not going to go massively into how to set up all of your Pinterest account in this video because I'm going to be doing a separate kind of section for all of that in the future because that's kind of in its own right something that you need to build up. But because we're talking about Tailwind, I just wanted to give you the understanding that you need to create boards and these boards need to be centered around things that your ideal customer would be interested in and looking for. So once you've created that, as you can kind of see, I have not yet created that in this kind of mock-up of a shop, but this is obviously what I would do. I would go ahead and create a board and I would obviously give the board a name that was associated with something like, for example, decor style, kitsch decor, things like that that are really to do with the product that I want to sell or the blog that I want to promote or whatever it is. And then once I have created about between 15 to 20 boards, I always suggest is a good position to start in then I need to start filling up these boards and this is where Tailwind comes in handy. So when you first get to Tailwind and you decide to do the free trial there's actually there's usually a free trial button up here you just click that and it will take you over to this page where you can either sign up using your existing Pinterest account or your Instagram account if you'd prefer to do it that way and um, you don't have to pay anything when you start out uh, with the free trial you just have the freedom to play around with it and then if you want to commit to it later on you can. And once you have basically added your details and signed up, then the first thing that you'll see here is your install our Chrome extension to your schedule pins. Now, I don't know if this only pops up when you're actually doing it through Chrome, so I don't know, but you can easily get the Chrome extension even if you decide to sign up to it on, say for example, Safari, and then later on you wanna go on Chrome. It's easy to just Google the um, Tailwind Chrome extension. And I would definitely recommend you do it because I'm gonna show you in a later video how important the Chrome extension is for if you want to really quickly kind of fill up your boards and automate your Tailwind and your Pinterest as quick as possible. But you can get the Chrome extension extension I already have it so I'm kind of just going to bypass that so once you've installed the Chrome extension they really recommend that you do do that and you make sure that you've got it especially if you're using Chrome and I would if you do use Chrome definitely recommend that you have it then you will end up in this section here which is your scheduled pin section and of course you haven't scheduled anything yet because you're brand new and most likely on the free trial and if you look to the right, then you'll see that here is your actual schedule. And right now, obviously there's nothing filling up these gaps and there's very few kind of slots for you to schedule. And the first thing that I kind of learned after experimenting a little while is that this is by no means enough to really start building traction in your Pinterest account. The best thing for you to do is to really start filling these slots or creating more slots to really get started with. So what I would suggest that you do is head down to your schedule and once you're on the your schedule page then you can start adding time slots. So the way that I like to do it because obviously when you're first starting out with Pinterest and when you're first starting out with Tailwind you don't know what the perfect time slots for the people that you're looking for are. So what I just like to do is click the generate new smart schedule and for example I might want to pin I'm going to say 10 times per day so I can generate that new schedule. And that will give me 10 pins and sometimes I like to fill out the suggested slots just by clicking them as well because I really want to give myself some traction and make sure that I'm kind of making a bit of a mark when I start to pin on Pinterest. So I find that starting with a minimum of 10 pins per day is kind of really important and when you decide to kind of do the premium if you enjoy it and you want to keep going with it then you can really bulk that up. I have done as many as 50, 60 pins a day just really experimenting with just ramping up my kind of presence on Pinterest obviously as a small brand new Pinterest account kind of really need to get some traction 
But I would definitely say that when you're completely starting out, especially if you're on the free trial, that starting with 10 pins a day is a really great way to start. So once you have kind of amped up your schedule a little bit, I find that Tailwind is really quite good at telling you kind of how often you should pin. So like, for example, on Monday, they've given a few more time slots than they have on Wednesday, but I just kind of go with it they know what they're doing when it comes to when you should be pinning and how you should be pinning and obviously you can play around and change the time starts if you feel that earlier on in the day or later on in the day is actually when you get more traction if you actually already have a Pinterest account but just kind of for me if I'm completely new to it I just went to the generate new smart schedule and just kind of let them come up with the schedule for me just to get a feel for it and then as I progress later on I can kind of change up the schedule a little bit so once I have made sure that my schedule is just a bit more up it's a bit more ramped I'll head back over to the drafts and you can see here that we've kind of got my schedules just a bit more busy I've got more time slots to fill in and that's kind of perfect you can also add a Instagram account that you have so if you go to manage accounts because you might want to share some of your photographs or whatnot back and forth then you can just click add new Instagram account and as long as you are signed in already to your Instagram, which I've kind of just done here, then you can basically set up your mobile device. So for example, I have an Android, so I can add my data. And once you've verified your Instagram account, then you're pretty much set up to kind of start scheduling and start adding both your pins and the pins that you find on Pinterest that you really, really like. So basically that's just a really simple way for you to get ready to start scheduling your pins. It's super simple, you just sign up to a free account if that's obviously what you wanna do. You connect the Pinterest account that you want to start automating using Tailwind. I tend to find it's really good to just bulk up the slots that you have available um, in the free trial but also when you wanna do it premium as well just to make sure that you get you know, a really good amount of posts being released per day. I also, like I said, recommend that you add your Instagram account if you're regularly posting on Instagram and be able to put them onto Pinterest as well, which is really good, especially if you're kind of running out of pin designs that you already have. It's good sometimes to just kind of use your Instagram posts as pins as well on Pinterest. And then finally, once you've verified everything and you have the Tailwind extension in Chrome, like I said, if you have Chrome, I really suggest that you use that because I'm gonna be showing you in a later video exactly why that's so important but other than that you're pretty much ready to go on your free trial so in the next video I'm going to show you how you can create custom pins in Canva to promote your Etsy shop or your Amazon shop or your blog or your Shopify website whatever it is wherever you're selling whatever service you're offering you can promote that by creating pins that you can upload onto Tailwind and therefore they'll be filtered out onto your Pinterest account and then in a later video I'm also going to show you how you you can use the Chrome extension to basically gather a whole bunch of other pins from Pinterest itself, but also from different places on the internet that you can kind of incorporate into your scheduling so that you've got just a real big variety of really interesting pins that are associated with your account that would just really help ramp up your views, your interactions on your Pinterest platform and start driving traffic for you. Like I said, Tailwind is the exact way that I started to grow my accounts, both of them on Pinterest. So if you haven't yet, I super recommend that you just give the free trial a go. You see if it works for you. It's a great way to automate bringing in traffic from outside kind of social media driven traffic or external traffic from the business that you already have. And this is kind of like why I'm creating these videos just to give you a helping hand in bringing in traffic in a super automated way. So you're not having to waste all of your time constantly doing it. So I'll see you in the next video where we're gonna be talking about how you can create custom pins to start pinning onto your Pinterest account via Tailwind. I'll see you then guys, bye.